Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we return once again to the Eastern Front and the Battle of the Vistula River, also known as the First Battle of Warsaw. There, the forces of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Russian Empire met again near Warsaw, Poland on September 29th through October 31st, 1914. The German and Austro-Hungarian counterattack eastward in an attempt to slow down the advance by the Russians on September 29th was unexpected. The forces first met at Ivangorod on September 29th, and with the successful blunting of the Russian army offensive, the Germans were able to push back the flow and move forward. The German army was successfully reclaiming territory that Russia had taken. On October 9th, the German army arrived at the western side of the Vistula River. All that remained of the Russians on the western side was scattered resistance that was unable to keep the Germans at bay. In response, Russian General Nikolai Ruski directed a fresh wave of 14 Russian divisions from Warsaw to attack the German 17th Corps. The Germans, however, were expecting this. They had broken the new Russian code and had found orders for these divisions to attack. Realizing the Russians meant to encircle the German 9th Army, they reinforced the German army with Austrian troops. The Austrians were reluctant to organize as part of a German unit and instead moved themselves as their own force to the flank. The German forces that were supposed to intermingle with them were then moved north but were unable to engage meaningfully in the battle. The Austrians who had refused to join with the already entrenched German army were battered back by the Russians. There were accusations by German sources that the Austrians had intentionally allowed the Russians to land on the west side of the river and take their positions. The Russians were successful in storming the west bank of the Vistula, and the Austrians were forced to retreat 40 miles west, collapsing the entire defensive flank they were supposed to hold. The German 9th Army was told to pull back and that the position was untenable. By October 30th, the majority of the fighting had finally died down. Losses were extreme for all involved. The Germans suffered 19,029 men killed, wounded, or missing. The Austrians lost 50,145 men that were killed, wounded, or missing. Meanwhile, the Russians suffered the worst with 145,309 men that were killed, wounded, or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.